for another video with your girl, Shalinda Wan. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so this hair that I'm gonna show you here was sent to me by Julia's Hair, and this is their Malaysian curly hair, and it is stunning. And later in the video, I will show you what I did to get them to get the curls to pop a little bit more. But for the most part, after I co-washed it, this is what I got. Um, I wanted to show you the hair, but more importantly, I wanted to show you guys how I've been applying my frontals. As you guys know, frontals are a huge piece. They really are. Especially because though they were kind of designed to help protect the hairline, they also can cause a lot of damage depending on the way you apply them. So I've been pretty much nixing using the gel to hold or any glue to hold my frontals down. Now I'm not saying I won't, um, only if I'm going to like some type of event and I'm afraid like it could be a slight chance that I'm booty popping to Beyonce and I'm going, I'm going hard in this slip off. In the rare occasion that that might happen, then I'll go in real hard and apply the gel and everything or the glue to really make sure that it's secure. Or this is what I do for the most part when I'm applying my units, and I want to show you how I do it. So here we go. Okay, so even though I still have a lot more plucking to do um, that I most likely do off camera or even at another time, the next little secret I want to share with you as far as making sure that you have a pretty decent frontal. First of all, let me say this, and I should have said it at the very beginning, frontals are a lot of work. It's a little tip that I did get from Tara Monet, and it was one of the best little tips, and that would be whatever you call these scissors right here. These are amazing because it stops the, you don't get that straight line, but you get that jagged edge, so hopefully you really won't be able to see too much of the um, the, lace, the lace cut, straight cut. I personally, and I know you see a lot of people cut before they put it on and uh, pluck before they put it on, but personally, I like to do it after just so I can actually see, because you can see through the lace. So I like to see what I'm working with. Like, I would have to bring this all the way down here to cover up everything. And that's a lot of forehead because my hairline is way back here. So I'd rather go with what my hairline is naturally giving me. So it might look a little off, but I can make that work from back there. Let me try to pull it down a little bit. Okay. So let's cut in pieces. So the first piece I'm going to cut is this piece right over here. I'm going to cut back diagonally down. Now I'm keeping a little bit of the lace. I'm keeping a little bit of that there. I'm not cutting that off. And you see what's going on behind my ear? All this, I'm cutting all this off. Because I want that to sit comfortably behind my ear. So once you cut off the first initial, you're going to go back in and cut off the remaining lace. Now I've already done it. So what I use for like my everyday, if I'm wearing it just to make sure that my edges stay down a little bit, is just the spray. It's just the Gotta Be Glued spray. I only use the spray and I only use it right on my edges. While I do the rest of my makeup, or I tend to the hair, 
I go in with one of these black strips. These have been all the difference. I usually fold it because I want it only really on my edges. And I take it just like this. Try to take it behind the ear and underneath the hair because I'm about to like style the hair so I don't want it on top of the hair. Clean water. So I'm not trying to soak the hair. This hair is from Julia's Hair. This is their Malaysian curly hair. They sent me three bundles and a frontal. And this is what this hair looked like. And all I did was add some water to it so far. Um, if I want more defined curls, you can go in with mousse, which is really, really good, or my favorite gel right now, which is just freaking amazing. And I promise I will have a review video coming up. Is the Eco Olive Shea Butter Black. This one right here, this, uh, the gold, amazing. Not good, amazing. Everybody in my household uses husband, son, daughter, as well as myself. Love it. Love it. Love it. It does flake though. It says non flaky. That's a lot. But it's still a really good. And when I say not a lot, not a lot, because I don't want super defined hair. I just want to tone down the frizz a very little bit. Take this off. I'm just going to cut it off. Be gentle. And there you have it. I am very much okay with that. And I am ready to walk out the door. Why, why don't we get a close up of those curls? Give it to the curl gods. Aren't they gorgeous? Curls are beautiful. Person like myself that doesn't really like gluing it down every day and all that stuff it's really all about really making sure that your strap is high enough to make sure it really can make sure that the edges lay down I mean the edge of the wig lay down flat all onto your head that's the most important thing and then you want to pluck a little bit you want to make sure that the harshness of the uh, the lace is not cut crazy. It's not cut straight with the straight scissors. I'm telling you, this, these scissors, my aerosol um, foundation is amazing. Those two things are probably the most important things to, to apply your frontal, if you're a person like me, that don't really like doing the glue every day. Now I do the glue if I'm going out to like a huge event and I think that I'm be doing a Beyonce or something like that. That's when I'll act, add that extra protection. But just for a regular every day, that's not going absolutely anywhere. And I think it looks super natural and super pretty. I look like I have healthy edges. Because at the end of the night when I go to wash my face, I wash my face. And I make sure that I wash all the way up into here to where all that is is spritz basically. And it's going to come right off. And I don't snatch it off I make sure I massage this off so really like it this is the packaging Julia's hair Julia hair this is the packaging really really nice it gives you a little bit of history about the company in the back that they have over 10 years of experience and all that good stuff definitely check out the link below you will find it below this is amazing springtime hair. And I just wanted to show you this gorgeous hair. I mean, you can see for yourself how beautiful it is. So I definitely recommend you click the link immediately to get your hands on this curly hair. <laughs> I love you guys so much. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. You definitely don't want to miss another video with your girl, Shalinda One. I love you guys so much. Remember, you are bold, you are beautiful, but most importantly, you're blessed. And, and don't let anyone tell you anything different. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye, guys.